guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. For the first time in quite a while, I'm not filming in uh, the dark of the early, early morning. I actually have today off because I have a doctor's appointment later, so I figured I would just take a PTO day, still send the kids off to the sitter, get stuff done around the house. It's been great. I scrubbed the shower. Like, I'm feeling super hype on top of stuff, so one of those things I'm doing is getting a little bit ahead on my filming um, in the hopes that the baby doesn't have COVID and we can um, go visit my parents this weekend, which uh, got put off. I haven't seen my parents in person for a month. Uh, no, two months now uh, by this next weekend. And uh, it's just crazy, like the way that your kids develop and move and, and grow. And I just I really want them to witness that and be part of it. And so um, if you are concerned by what I just said, the babysitter also got exposed the same day as Bridget. So there's kind of no extra risk. She also ended up getting a rapid test yesterday and tested negative. So, um, hopefully Bridget's PCR test scheduled for tomorrow will also turn up negative and then we'll be all clear by the weekend. Anyway, um, I am filming this on Monday, by the way. Uh, and thank you for, for caring. That's very sweet of you. Uh, this is my Filofax Malden pocket. Same planner um, as I have been in for a while now. Um, but I, in my last flip through video, linked in the corner, uh, I expressed a couple of times that I was kind of feeling like things were not quite right. Like I really needed to move some stuff around that the organization of what was in each tab was just not, it wasn't working for me. Um, and so I actually ended up like the day that went live, finally finding the time to sit down and reorganize it. And I'm actually really happy with what ended up happening. Um, so now that I've been in it for a month, um, living it and, you know, using it, uh, I'm here to show you what I did. So same planner, but it feels fresh and new. Uh, things that are the same, still using this Pilot G2.038, no, sorry, 0.38, um, extra fine point, which is great. I had used the 0.5 or whatever before and I found that it skipped a lot and took a while to dry and then I discovered this even finer point. It's perfect. I love it so much. Um, but it doesn't fit in the pen loop on the Malden. If you've ever used a Malden, you know that is an issue. So I keep it in the rings here and then I just have to pull it out whenever I'm using the planner. Front pocket, uh, I've got the washi cutting <laughs> card I use and then these little flags, which I was going to put one in here. I've got like this little post-it flag down at the bottom here marking something I forget what so I guess that doesn't work the idea was to you know mark active uh projects which I have done in the past and has worked but I haven't yet it's just there in case I want to guest card library card insurance card uh, insurance card some stuff like that wallety stuff um the main part of my wallet which is like um what am I saying like cards actual like credit cards and stuff goes on an insert that lives on the rings back here. I just can pull it out for flip through so I don't have to blur or cover all of that. Um, and then let's see, back pocket, more stickers, um, nothing, stickers, a blank check. I would keep cash here if I had any. Keep meaning to hit up the ATM at some point and just have some cash for using for cash things. This insert is number 57. It is new in my shop as of last month. I believe I released it in October, yeah. Um, and it's been working really well. It's really great. I can definitely vouch for this being really useful when you're switching up all, everything and like which goes, which inserts go in which tab. You are less likely to get lost if you have a map. And so this shows you, this is a little quick, um, index, I guess, for this video, what you're going to be seeing as we flip through front to back. I have this in the back so that it's not, you know, it's tucked in the back. It's utilitarian. It's not as pretty as the front. Um, and so because of that, also because like tab six behind tab six, looking front to back is mostly just like spare paper. It's extra stuff. Um, and so instead I'm using the tabs backwards as it were. And so when I say six here, that means you lift six and it's what's behind it this direction. Um, if that makes sense, it works for me. Anyway, so this tab one here, it's behind tab one, which means it's the front section, um, which is actually I'm looking at it quite hefty. You'll see why. Uh, there you go. Screenshot that if you want to use it as a guide, but whatever. Let's do a front to back flip through. 
I'm halfway through my second cup of coffee, which maybe is why I'm talking this fast. Also, I'm awake for a change. I have been telling people for, for a long time now that the shop that I got these from is defunct. I don't know if that has been the case now the entire time I'm finding I might have been a liar. I think the problem was just the link in her Instagram bio was broken. <laughs> because I found her. Um, it's called Marlene's Plan to Create. She's on Etsy. She still sells these. Check them out. Um, you can get this lovely, you know, lettering. Um, I chose the word now. It means a couple of different things I've talked about in the past. Anyway, I love these plastic dividers and I've used them like exclusively since I got them. They're very durable, no denting in the corners or anything. And I really like that they basically are customizable and you can do things like this, you know? I put like something decorative behind each one and that's what that looks like. So I just had this spare piece uh, that I had been using. I wanted to have something in the front and then right behind it is kind of decorative also. This is my inbox um, and so I have it folded over. This is like the fold out insert 37 and so basically anything that's on here that like I don't want you to see um, can just be here and I don't have to cover it up. <laughs> which is crazy that I specifically did that for YouTube, but I also have the flip out part here as like my morning routine in theory, which I never really look at, but in theory then you can have things on the flip out that are available when you're looking at the rest of your planner. So that's where I keep just things. If I don't have somewhere to jot them down in like organizational wise in the planner, I can just put them in the inbox and then migrate them when I have time. This is the waiting on list. Good to have it in the front to keep it at the top of your head, but I don't use it very often. So this one is very ancient. Um, I don't remake it very often. <laughs> My one line a day journal and Bible in a year trackers. I am way caught up. Like I'm, you know, a week into November we're with both, but I, as you can see, I haven't been filling it out. I should probably just take it out of here, but I kind of like, I've gone so far and I'll just, you know, literally do I have it here. Here, let me grab it. Literally go through, grab the pen and just fill it in. <laughs> Cause I have already finished October. It's fine. I finished it and I'll go through and do it all. But like, it's not helping me keep track of anything. So it's kind of not very functional. The level 10 life I do every few months as a sort of inventory, but I don't frequently use it as a reference when setting goals, which I should. Sometimes it's useful. I think around the beginning of the year when you have that kind of new year's resolution energy, it, you, it worked for me. Um, it's helpful, like I said, when I'm actually sitting down and doing the, you know, thinking about it. And then I was also color using the same color code for my monthly resolutions, which I stopped making. So I should probably just take all of those out and just not even have them take up space in here. Anyway, this is a Peanuts Planner Co. insert. Um, if I don't mention, it's from my shop. Uh, but this one is from Peanuts Planner Co. and it's called Goal Planning, but I use it for like small projects. And you'll see later on how I was using it this last weekend to get a lot of cleaning done around the house too. So things that are or are not done. Um, Halloween costumes. Oh, we did this. Oh, we got this done. Uh, leave a comment below if you want a garden tour. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, I, I, I gone hard my wardrobe and I still have not gone through and decided what to do with all the stuff that's just now sitting in the pack and play where the baby's not sleeping anymore. Anyway, so this is like, this front section is, you know, where the stuff goes, waiting on and then projects. So this is like, if you need to have a project to do, look in the front and then move it backwards, you know, that works. Someday maybe list is also basically a goal and project list without any, you know, like necessary need to do any of it. <laughs> so that's in here too. Um, this is the list of craft projects, theoretically. Uh, that straw, there's a straw hat that needs to be fixed. Basically, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed and I haven't get, gotten around to it. My husband will hand me a pair of pants and go, hey, can you have this? I'm like, technically. Yes, technically I could. Uh, will I? Who knows? So now we're still in the like the front section before any of the side tabs have kicked in, but now we've got the top tabs. And this is the big, like the biggest thing that revolutionized my planner system uh, when I reorganized it a month ago is that instead of these three top tabs being three current projects, I now have them as monthly, weekly, daily. 
So the monthly tab here starts with, you've got on the front the currently dashboard. This is going to switch up for next month because currently I'm working on um, releasing a whole bunch of new monthly spreads in the month of November. So stay tuned to my Instagram stories where I will like post them all again when there's new stuff. Um, but for now, this is what's available. There's a few different monthlies in my shop and this is one of them. This is the dated number 14, which is now available for 2020. Uh, sorry, 2022. You know what I mean? Um, so that's set up. I did a monthly plan with me as I do every month. So you'll have seen what this looked like. It was pretty nitty gritty. And then on the back of it is the monthly review. So I'll fill uh, this guy out sometime like next week when we're halfway through the month, just to kind of give me a snapshot of where I was when I look back. And then I will do this at the end of the month, probably right before I film my monthly plan with me video to give me some time to, you know, retrospect and plan ahead. And then I've got my future log is also in this section. So Future log is from Peanuts Planner Co.'s dated yearly bundle. It's got the foldouts and stuff, and we're almost to the end of it. Uh, then this is the and afterwards portion, which is from the, like, is it dated? I think it's a dated monthly's freebie that's available on her Facebook group, also from Peanuts Planner Co. So I've been using those since, you know, before I started a shop. So then this one and this one are school calendars. I have them folded up in here. Um, and so they fit and I just pull them out like when I'm doing my monthly planning. This one is for the main school, but this one is for the preschool. It has fewer half days and stuff. Uh, so both of those are useful to have. That, but I'm not going to show them to you. <laughs> then recurring tasks, uh, stuff that happens at any sort of interval. Um, I go through this probably about twice a month or so to move things and then also to put them onto the monthly. Um, and then when I get them done, I try to mark the actual date it got done so that I know. And I switched up some of these schedules. There were some things I was doing every month and now I'm sort of stretching it out um, for reasons. Library books. I actually need to update this because we returned some. I returned some. I returned this one and this one and this one and then we got oh gosh I really need to update this because not only did I check out Dawn Treader I also checked out the silver chair on audiobook because we're gonna need extra audiobook for our road trip to visit my mom and dad um but I need to log in and look at those dates. Anyway, in theory, <laughs> that's how that's supposed to work, is I know when things are coming due and when I renew them, to, you know, three weeks, three weeks, and how that works. So I'm actually using this for its intended purpose for the first time ever. Uh, and we're actually getting to go back to the library every so often. They don't have the toys set up yet, though, which is kind of sad. Um, this here is the new setup of what was previously this guy. If you remember this one was my birthdays and anniversary spread that was in here since spring of 2018 when I moved into a ring planner for the first time, um, like on maternity leave for my first daughter. And um, anyway, I migrated it all to this version from my shop, which spreads two pages front and back instead of being a fold out, this is insert. 55 and so you've got date who and then the year um so you put the year someone was born or they got married or whatever instead of the year or instead of like how old they are and you have to do the math but you will never have to redo the insert so there you go then the next top tab is for weeks this little cutie is the sweetest um i found some of these like old um like paperclip doodads in my office drawer at work because um, they weren't getting used. And I was like, that's actually perfect because I had been trying to use book darts to do the same thing, but they're much narrower and these have, you can kind of see, you know, some girth to them. So this is to basically bookmark a page um, so I can flip straight to this week. Uh, this was on my Instagram yesterday but also it looked exactly like this because I haven't done a lot of planning yet. Like I said, I'm filming this on Monday, so that's all on a daily. 
Um, this is my month, my Monday's daily, and so I'm not going to put a bunch of stuff on this list that I could get done today. You know, basically my week with like work and all of that doesn't start until tomorrow, so I'm getting stuff done on a daily, and then by the end of today I will plan this out for the rest of the week. This is content. Um, I have to put stuff like dinner. We're doing spaghetti tonight because that's the thing that needs to get defrosted. So uh, I will do that now because I can keep it on the counter and keep an eye on it instead of like sticking it in the fridge where it takes like three days to defrost a sausage. It's ridiculous. Um, and so yeah, that's the weekly. I'm using this uh, insert 21, which is a split weekly, but it has you know some space for the weekend. I had been using just half of the split weekly last month with the Alistair weekly. I liked that in theory, but then it got old because I really felt like I wanted space to plan my weekend. Next week's video will be a weekly plan with me for this week. Um, and so you will get to see that in action and I'll talk more about it then. Then the third top tab is for dailies. Um, here's just a piece of, some of these acetates are also from Peanuts Planner Co. By the way, if I haven't mentioned that yet. I've been using just a lot of these two days per page dailies because um, they're pretty utilitarian and then I can have a lot in here. And so whenever I feel like I need a daily, I will use one. Um, I'm not making them super pretty. This one got, um, I think a cucamelon seed stuck to it. Anyway. These are more of those goal planning inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. And this is what I was doing over the weekend. Um, I picked, you know, each room had, was its own goal. Um, and then I like took this section in the middle that was split in two, but I split it down the middle into four quadrants. So I could be like, all right, um, the living room, I need my older daughter to help me pick which toys are staying in the living room and which ones are going in the closet. But I need the baby to not be there messing it up. So we'll do this while she's napping. Um, and you know, uh, what was it? The, yeah, the girl's bedroom can't be while they're napping, right? Agnes could help me with this. She didn't end up helping me with this. It was fine. It wasn't that much organization, just some general tidying, but I needed again, the baby to not be in there messing it up, but also to not be in there napping. So that meant that Gino wasn't free to help me with this room because he had to be entertaining the baby. Does that make sense? So that just kind of helped me like mind map it out and figure out like what, which room to do when. Um, and then I used the cleaning daily for Saturday. So I had some like actual things I needed to get done. And then I sort of slotted in like a room for different parts of the day. So morning was focused on like the living room and then the afternoon was when they were napping. So I was supposed to work on the bedroom. Didn't end up doing that. Anyway, it was, it was good to have a plan going into it. Same thing for Sunday, but we were doing a lot of resting. Um, and it's fine cause I'm doing some t tidying up today as well. Um, these little guys are prototypes. I think I might release them in December. Um, but I've, they've been very useful when I don't feel like I need a full page, but I also don't want to just have like, a post-it note floating around somewhere. This way it's still in my planner and I can move it around. So I, I had like on Friday jotted down stuff I wanted to do Monday, stuff I wanted to do on the weekend so I could move it and migrate it when I was ready to set up the actual daily. So those are still in here. Um, this stuff got migrated to Monday's daily. I've been doing a lot of color coding. They're all shades of blue and I cannot tell these two apart, but I swear they're different. Um, but yeah, I'm just going through my day um, working in 2010s, which is from a website, which I can't say on a family channel, um, but its initials are UFYH. Uh, if you Google that, you'll find out what that stands for. Anyway, it's just a cleaning method, but basically instead of like a Pomodoro where you only get a five minute break, you work for 20 minutes and then you're off for 10. So that's how I'm organizing my day. Um, and then highlighting when stuff gets done. I uh, yeah, I'm making good progress. And I scrubbed the shower, which makes me feel like a superwoman. And then we just go back to more of these. I have spare ones in here. And then I have a couple extra different kinds. Um, I have a project daily, a cleaning daily, and then a sp uh, weekend daily all in here in case anyone. Uh, this one is a Peanuts Planner Co. freebie daily that I also had. I thought I'd keep that handy in case I wanted to use it. 
Now we get to the actual side tabs, and these are mostly each dedicated to like a project, except for this last one. Um, so the first one is my content schedule, which I'm gonna kind of show you like half of. This is the part that's already come out. Um, it's all color coded and I just cross it off when it's done. I'm using the left side of, here. You know, this is October. You can see this, all, all of this was already released. Um, here is, notice, November, um, you see this here and this here? They are the same, except they are on opposite sides. So I just cut this differently so that it has like extra space on this side. You can't, it doesn't have the lovely watermarks, which I'm very proud of, but um, it fits nicely. And I just sort of draw a line down the middle and that's what I've been using for my content calendar. Um, I like that the weeks are already, you know, dated uh, so that I can quickly and easily see Saturdays and Thursdays and everything. Um, and just keep my schedule uh, in mind because I need to have like I have a separate content planner for like strategy and stuff like that. But um, for the actual schedule, I need to have that handy so I know what needs to get filmed in a given week or whatever. The next tab is my pregnancy planner. Uh, this is insert 40 from my shop, which is like a bundle. Um, and so there's a couple different pieces to it. This is the um, well, yeah, weeks pregnant calculator. <laughs> so currently I'm still on the first page. I can show you. Um, my turnover day is Saturday. So we are currently on, when is this coming out? November, Thursday is uh, November 11th, right? That's when you're watching this. So you can see that I am, I turned over the previous Saturday on the, that was 15 weeks. So I am 15 weeks in one, two, three, four, five days. So there you go. That's how that works, if that makes sense to you. Um, there you go. Then the next one, I'm not gonna show you the filled out version, but there's appointments and questions for the doctor and then like monthly to-do lists, which I don't use a lot of. I should probably pull out like, oh, I did. Yeah, okay. There's not that many to-dos for your third baby, you know? But I really do need to make this list at some point because I won't have the brain capacity for it at the time. And you know what? I've never gotten a copy of our second daughter's birth certificate. I need to do something about that. Then I have another one of these little um, guys that I grabbed from the office. This is the weekly little, I don't know, tracker, I guess. So for every week you see, you know, how big the baby is and then you can log like your symptoms and things that happen that week. Some weeks I'm on top of it. Other weeks are just boring and then other weeks I am just not on top of it. Ooh, excuse me. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm feeling a couple of kicks every so often. Um, baby this week is the size of an apple and I have a actual doctor's appointment so I will get a weight and blood pressure reading for this week. Um, I should put that. I had some weird dizzy spells yesterday. So I need to ask the doctor about that. Um, that is a symptom. And then, you know, so this goes for the rest of the pregnancy. Though I don't, do I have it all in here? I do. It goes all the way up to 42 weeks, which hopefully, for all of your sakes, I hope you never get to the size of a jackfruit. But it's here in case, you know, you, you need to not feel alone if you get to that point. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I, the, previously I had a pregnancy tracker that I bought from a shop. And since I'm about to bad mouth it, I won't tell you which, but basically the, it had something kind of similar to this where it had one page per week, but it started with week one and it ended with week 40. And um, y you're pretty likely to go beyond 40 weeks. Um, and week one, you're not even literally pregnant yet. So anyway, that's why I did it that way. And that all fits in one tab instead of being like all three of them as it was before. And that was really what threw everything off is I ran out of tabs because I was using all three of the top tabs for one section. Anyway, next section here is Christmas. I released my Christmas bundle in like, what, September? I haven't started yet. I'm trying to encourage all of you to get started on your Christmas planning and to buy my Christmas weekly bundle or Christmas planning bundle 51 um, for my shop. But 
I haven't started yet. I have some in here and it's got the tab. That's why there's the tab in here to remind me to actually look here and get started on it. But since it's not urgent in any given week, it doesn't get done and I'm, it's going to become urgent like it does every year. So far I only have the gift ideas and the stocking stuffers in here and then pretty soon I'll start the other ones with like actual checklists of things that need to get done like hanging lights and setting up trees and it's coming faster than I realize. So I really really do need to get started. Next tab is oh this is like yeah um garden stuff. There's a to-do list here that doesn't really get used very often. This was planning what I was going to put in my lettuce bed. I have an entire 4x4 four four bed just of lettuce. They're all teeny tiny little seedlings right now, but I'm so excited to be able to eat as many salads as I can possibly stand. This was some planning for the drip irrigation. It didn't end up looking exactly like that. This was last spring's layout for the long bed. Um, yeah, probably don't need that in there either, but in theory, yeah, I think a lot of the stuff in the garden right now is kind of set itself and it's good. Anyway, then the last section here, as you can see in the index, has uh, a lot going on. I called it shopping because that's kind of a loose thread that ties it all together. The first thing that I need to be able to find at a moment's notice is the meal plan. So that is right in the front of the tab right here. Meal plan. This is everything that I have the ingredients for right now. That's how I knew that I had those Italian sausages in the freezer, even though the freezer is so stuffed because I've got the big thing of French fries and the big thing of chicken nuggets and they barely fit. Um, good thing it's not summer and we don't need more ice cream and popsicles. I need to eat the ones that are in there though and free up a little bit more space and defrost some meat and eat some meat. Anyway. Um, I don't set this up every single week. I kind of set it up whenever I'm doing a meal plan, um, which is whenever I'm doing a shopping trip. So as it is right now, I have, that's for tonight. Then I have, excuse me, only really like one more meal <laughs> ready to go. So I'm going to have to do some grocery shopping mid this week sometime. So I have another one in here, at least one more. It's always good to have at least one more because then when you run out and you're like, oh, great, now what? Um, I printed them wrong, and that's why I, I accidentally cut them before I printed the back. So that's why they don't have the grocery list on the back. But fortunately, I am able to do my online grocery again. And so whenever I need to add something to the list, I add it to the cart on my phone app. So that's taken care of, and it's fine. These are some gift ideas. Most of this are things that are like we got extras of um, as gifts for the babies. <laughs> Uh, like she was given two things off of her wish list that were the same or she received one thing that we already had and so those are all in the closet to give to cousins and stuff but then I also have to remember who gave them to us so that we don't gift it at a party that person's gonna be at uh, this is my own personal wish list so if I ever can't remember what it was that I wanted <laughs> This is my to read watch list. It's really, it's a to watch list. Stuff that I, you know, don't want to forget that I want to watch. And then I was going to and will at some point um, do a rewatch of the entire MCU. That was the idea is to kind of do that while I was multitasking other things. But I just, I don't know. I, I need, once it starts, I will get into a flow, I'm sure. But as it is, I'm, the flow I'm in is rewatching uh, YouTube video essays that I've already seen multiple times. I don't know. It's what I'm into right now. It's weird. Um, and then the last tab is just spare stuff. This is a packing list um, because it needed somewhere to live. That's where it is. I don't know. That's where it is. And then these <laughs> have been in here for so long. If you've been watching these flip throughs, this is like the pattern and this is the track like row counter for a baby blanket that I've been working on for two years now. Baby's born, baby's a year old. These are those prototype little drop pad guys. I, I formatted them wrong. That's why they're a prototype. Um, and then more spare paper. And then that takes us to the end. There's some post-its. These are extra flags that were from like post-it indexes of your that can fit here. That's the nice thing, at least about the pocket size here, is that it's perfect size to fit one of those post-it flags. Um, so I can easily move these without 
rearranging everything. So if I want to get rid of that garden section and replace it with a different project, easy enough to do. Just I don't have to redo the entire index just for that. And then that brings us to the end. 30 minutes of filming. I hope that you are enjoying that. Um, it was much hyped, probably way too much hyped. I kept talking about how this video was coming, even though no one probably cared. Though on the other hand, my flip throughs, I've mentioned this before, generally are my most watched video every month and they are also the least effort. So I love it. I hope you guys do too. Um, if you're not subscribed, which statistically a bunch of you probably are not, um, I post videos every single Thursday about my planner system, uh, a flip through every single month as well as playing with me's and stuff. Um, stuff about the inserts that I create, which you can check out at ganchiplans.com slash shop. Like the video if you like the video, and then I will see you guys in the next one on Thursday for the weekly plan with me. See you then. Bye.